what is going on guys it's smoke and today bringing you some more modern warfare gameplay on hardcore shoot house i believe we're playing kill confirmed um i do all right for the first time in a while because i'm using uh, you know a gun that isn't super difficult to use um uh, used well it's right there that, that's my potato aim again um you know, i used to use the foul or semi-autos a lot in other call of duty so this is a gun I'm going to feel right at home with when I'm grinding it. Uh, I've only played for like an hour so far. I'm maybe about level 15 now. I uh, kind of wanted to take a break. I really didn't want to go too hard today in Modern Warfare. Uh, but anyway, I just want to welcome all the new subscribers, man. We're almost at 50 subscribers. Uh, can't tell you how grateful I am for the subs that I got. UAV is ready for flyover. Kill confirmed. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're using the foul. Uh, the only attachment I am using, er, attachments, I believe, in this one were the red dot, GI mini reflex, and the. Uh, what's it called? The uh, Merc foregrip. So, hey, head glitching right there, like everyone does. So, one thing that I'm going to start doing is. As you can see by my gameplay, because this is a DMR, uh, pretty much. It's, it's a marksman rifle, it's, it's alright. It's pretty much uh, the EBR-14. EBR-14 and the FAL are almost identical. Except I think the FAL is just a little bit better in terms of hitting those uh, long, those targets at range. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to feel uh, really at home using this weapon. So far, I like it. You're going to see some shots that were pretty questionable that I thought should have hit, but because for whatever reason of uh, maybe lag or you know that the game's trying to nerf me I was pretty pissed off like right there like I could have swore I hit him and then you can see when I throw my C4 like it comes out like maybe a half a second later than when I actually threw it anyway yeah I'm playing a, just a little bit more defensively just because I'm gonna slow down my gameplay a little bit I'm gonna slow down the way I play using an assault rifle you want to stay at medium to long range, which, I mean, you can still hold your own at range, and right here you're going to see a perfect example of Call of Duty timing. Like, I didn't see that because I was already, you know, looking the, to the right, but look at this shot right here. Oh, oh, that was nasty. So yeah, I'm going to start slowing down my gameplay a little bit, the way I play, uh, kind of how I, I used to play back, back in Black Ops 1, because Black Ops 1 was... You know, it was a relatively slow game. Uh, I say, um, a lot. Uh, kind of just stop that. But anyway, um, Black Ops 1 was a relatively slower game. Maybe to the same degree as Modern Warfare. But I'm going to start playing, you know, a little bit slower. Because, you know, I want to be able to get my kill streaks. You know, I haven't gotten a VTOL in so long. And it's just like, man, I used to drop these almost a couple every game when I first, for the first like two weeks. And that was because, you know, I was using, you know, uh, guns that were more my style, like the MP5 and MP7 and all the SMGs. I never really got around to using ARs too much in this game. And after Black Ops 2, I pretty much stuck to SMGs and sniper rifles. So... You can see right here, I'm being a little bit defensive. I'm playing more defensive. You could dare say that, yes, I am camping, but I'm not camping in one spot for the entire match. You know what I mean? I'm kind of like patrolling an area, which you could say that's camping too. And to a degree, it is. I didn't know my teammate was right there, so I feel a little bit bad for that guy. He could have been on a, a streak for all I know. Anyway, like I said, I'm really enjoying the foul. Um, like I said, there I go saying um again. Every time I say um, uh, you have to smash that like button. So I only have this and the, the foul, the M13, and the kilo to get gold before I get platinum on the AR, so it'll be my second platinum. I'm almost, I'm only uh, one launcher away from getting platinum on the launchers, which is the Strela. I definitely think the Strela is probably the hardest launcher to get gold just because it doesn't deal that good of it. explosive damage compared to like say the RPG or the Pila 
and the reload time, even with amped, is so slow. But you can see I'm being way more defensive. You know, I'm not trying to uh, run out like a chicken without my head anymore. I'm trying to. I'm not saying that. Uh, that you know what? I'm gonna play more tactically. I'm trying to adapt. I'm trying to adapt and get good. You can see right here. I'm just posted up capping. I know there's somebody over here. At least I thought. Just because this game, there could be anybody anywhere at any time. Especially in hardcore, where you really don't. Um, well, it doesn't matter because the minimap doesn't work the way it used to. And that, I, that was just my bad aim again. Plus, my trigger finger is uh, not as good as it used to be. Here's me checking it out and be like, man, what the hell? Because like, I haven't used uh, semi auto since Black Ops 2, the SMR. Uh, when it came to World War II, I was pretty much snipers only. Black Ops 3, I, 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 I didn't, I hated Black Ops 3 as much as I hate Black Ops 4. Just because the specialist and the boot jumping. But again, that's my personal uh, opinion about those games. Those games are dead. Why am I talking about them? So, um, another thing I want to talk about is Xbox 360. Um, you know, it's almost two generations ago of consoles. Uh, they're forty dollars right now. I'm might th I'm thinking about you know getting a 360 or a PS3 because they're only about like seventy or bucks too, um, and getting one of those and get some of the older Call of Duties. Unfortunately, I will not be able to post them because I uh, record from my PlayStation 4. So the only way that really would happen is I would have to buy an Xbox One. And because those games are backwards, Xbox One is backwards compatible with 360 and Xbox games, then that maybe, you know, I could go ahead and uh, record from there. But uh, I really don't want to buy an Xbox One um, just because there really is no point to. Just because the same games that are on Xbox One are on the PlayStation 4, if not more games. I'm not trying to get into the console war, I don't want to start the console war. But I just can't see myself personally owning an Xbox 360, except to play Gears of War and, you know, like I said earlier, just go back and uh, get some of those older Call of Duties. And I was one off my VTOL right there, uh, which made me a little bit upset because I should have just waited out a little bit. Because I picked up those two kills and that guy that killed me, that would have been my seventh kill. I think I was running hardline, if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to talk about the cruise missile, but I know there's someone up there. Oop, direct, that wasn't direct impact. That was. Well, yeah, because, you know, I never played Modern Warfare 2 and I really, really want to. I really wish that they would have remastered, or released the remaster of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 because I know for a fact that it's done. Alright, it, it's done. Uh, I don't know why they don't won't, don't want to release it. I think that if, um, you know, by the time Modern Warfare 2021, which would be Modern Warfare 2, I'm guessing, uh, they should remaster uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the original one, 2009. You know, by next year, we're going to have the X next Xbox out, the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. So I would uh, hope to see some uh, more older Call of Duties remastered. But anyway, this is the end of the gameplay. I go... 23 and 11 so that's not too bad anyway guys thanks for watching leave a like and peace